to them. When they open their mouth, the people are your colleague. You will talk about him. What is, what is diagnosed? His brother diagnosed. The mother diagnosed. These different illnesses. Are you hearing me? This man by the pool of Bethesda was diagnosed of different kind of illnesses for 38 years, according to the scripture. Is that not a delay? Huh? For 38 years, you are carrying this sickness. Which, which other time is left for you to live a normal life? 38 years. Eh? Beloved, delay is dangerous. That's why the Bible says when, when there is delay, the heart is bleeding. And that's why we must, be, we must be aggressive. Are we ready to be aggressive? If you want to speak in tongues, speak in tongues now. Because something must change. Something must change in this month and subsequent month. Something must change. Delay must be uprooted. Lift up your hand to heaven. I say the yoke of fruitlessness. The yoke of fruitlessness. The yoke of fruitlessness. In my life. Today shall be not put by fire. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Every yoke of fruitlessness. Profitless hard labor. It shall be not put from my life by the anointing. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Every yoke of fruitlessness. In my life, in my family, in my marriage, in my family. Unfruitfulness. That has lingered on in my life. Today shall be not put in. Upon my children. Upon my children. Near success syndrome. In my life, today you shall go. Thank you, Moses, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yeah. Beloved, what I'm talking about, please pardon me, I'm talking about problems that has lingered on for too long. Yeah. It's not good that we address it. Oh, yes. And the only way we can address it that I know of is that we should deal with such problems spiritually. Oh, yes. And that we, but then we conquer, just like the testimony that my dear sister gave. If we conquer it in the spirit, then you are set free of that bondage. Oh, yeah. And then in this month of May and subsequent month in this year, that which you are expectant, God is already delivered it all. Yes, it's been delivered. Oh, but there is a battle. Yes. There is a battle. <coughs> God delivered it. But the Bible tells me that in the Gabriel and Michael, they are wrestling in the heavens. Yes, because it was, it was delivered. But it didn't get to the person's hand. Are you hearing me? You have prayed, you have fasted. And it has been delivered a long time ago. Five years ago, maybe. This child you are looking for. This spouse you are looking for. Has been delivered five years ago. But you don't have it. You don't have it. Why? Because there is a battle in the heavens. That is saying no to what God has delivered in your hand. And today, you must take it by force. Amen. Lift up your hand to heaven. And say, my father, my father. In the mighty name of Jesus. That which you have delivered. Today I will receive it. Go ahead and receive it. Go ahead and receive it. That which you have delivered in my life. I will receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Jesus, you have delivered it, O Lord. I receive it by fire. Today I receive it in the spirit. I receive it in the spirit. It shall be made manifest in the physical. It shall be made manifest in the physical. I receive it in the spirit, O Lord. It shall be made manifest in my life. In the physical, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, most excellent Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 38 years. 38 years is not 38 days old. 
Imagine, Auntie, uh, man, you just gave us a testimony now about the battle that, that God fought on your behalf in January. Yes, sir. And they are coming again. And this is May. You just imagine somebody for 38 years fighting the same battle. That could not be a portion. Amen. This man was sat there for 38 years. Nothing happened. And he was expectant. Today, your expectations will be met in Jesus' name. Amen. Your expectations will be met in Jesus' name. Amen. Your expectations will be met in Jesus' name. Amen. Your expectations will be met in Jesus' name. Amen. That which you are expecting, it shall be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe it, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. The axe, the axe has been laid to that foundation. That foundation of delay. That foundation of the enemy trying to torment and to fight you. Today there is a good news. Listen to me, there is a good news. Why? The axe has been laid to the foundation. That axe has been laid to the foundation. And the axe will uproot whatever it is that the enemy wants to throw at you. Lift up your hand to heaven and say, Father, Father. send your eyes of fire to the foundation of my life and destroy every plan of the enemy. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Your eyes of fire to the foundation of my life. Destroy every plan of the enemy over the life of my children, in my family, in my career, in my marriage. Send forth the eyes of fire. Destroy every foundation. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we just need to glory and bless your holy name. Hallelujah. I don't want to exceed my time. I thank you because you have answered my fire. Yes, Lord. I've done what you said I should do. I commit your children into your mighty hand. Yes, Whatever it is that represents a delay in their life, perpetually, please, my Lord and my God, I'll put it by fire. Amen. In the life of their children, also ever represent a delay in any area of their life, yes. today, I'll put it by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. In their career, also ever represent a delay in that career, Jesus, by your mercy, or put it by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because we know it is settled. Thank you, Lord. You say, He that the Lord has set free is free indeed. Amen. That yoke is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. Yoke is broken. Yoke of delay is broken forever in Jesus' name. Amen. You have not had testimonies, so you are going to hear more testimonies. Amen. I said you are going to hear more testimonies. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The battle in the heaven is today it has been released. Amen. You have overcome those battles. Amen. You have overcome those battles. Amen. In your life, in your family, in your career. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, most excellent Father. You, Lift up your hand and just appreciate God. Appreciate Him. Go ahead and appreciate Him. Go ahead and appreciate Him. King of kings, Lord of Lord, we give you all the praise and adoration. We bless your holy name. Appreciate him, appreciate him. Appreciate him because the yoke has been broken. Appreciate him because the delays, the delays is gone. Delays in your life is gone. Appreciate him because my Lord will put speed in your legs now. Everything that you that you find yourself doing, there shall be speed in it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Beloved, I want to quickly congratulate every one of you. The God that has sent me to do this job has freed you from every delay forever. Amen. 
And so I want to celebrate with you and your families Amen. that whatever it is in whatever area that there has been a substantial delay, I want you to know that as from today, delay is gone. Delay is gone. Delay is gone. I said delay is gone. Amen. Thank you, most excellent Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory be unto the mighty name. Hallelujah. Just appreciate God once more. I appreciate God once more. I appreciate God once more. Amen. 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 And very quickly, very quickly, before we take our seats, before we take our seats, I I want us to, this is the Thanksgiving service in the Redeemed Christian Church of God once every month. Our Father in the Lord, the General